Hello friends, this is Ashurad here. In this video, I will explain you the concept of logical operators. Okay. So we are continuing with the operators series. Uh, uh, what we were discussing in the previous lecture. Okay. So logical operators is the most important uh, category of uh, the operators of the three operators, uh, three types of operators that we are seeing. Okay so what they do is again just like relational operator we discussed in the previous lecture they give us either true or false okay but what they compare is two statements okay so logical operators combine or compare two statements not two values uh, as what we saw in case of uh, relational operators okay so they compare two statements and returns true or false okay so this is what it means this is what it's what is its definition we'll see how they work okay in a minute so how do we uh, write these operators logical operators we have end operator as logical operator then we have or operator as logical operator and then we have not operator as logical operator so let's discuss them one by one end operator well quite simple end operator compares two statements and it will give us the value true only when both the statements are true okay listen to it carefully it will give us the value true only when both the values are true otherwise the ultimate answer is going to be false if any one of the statements is false okay so for example uh, what i have written here is i have two statements this is the first statement and this is the second statement i am comparing these two statements by using end operator in between so what i am going to get is i have to decide this first is 6 greater than 5 the answer is false oh sorry the answer is true i'll keep and as it is and the second statement i'm going to think of is 7 less than 17 the answer is true so we are ge getting true result if we had false here or false here or false here as well as here we would have got the answer as false so this is how it works the end operator so as you can see in this example 6 is greater than 5 true 7 is greater than 17 false true and false becomes false okay so this is basically it about end operator talking about or operator it also compares two statements but it will give us the value false only when both the statements are false okay listen to it carefully again it will give us the value false only when both the statements are false so for example uh, let me solve this here 6 greater than 5 yes the OR operator okay 7 greater than 17 no false what is going to be the ultimate answer true because i have got one true so if any of the statements is true okay you may have uh, a very large uh, uh, statement containing number of statements okay joined with or operator but you have to see if any one of them is true you don't even have to think about the other uh, statements whether they are true or false because the ultimate answer is going to be true so this is our operator okay uh, on the other hand in the second example you can see 6 less than 5 false 7 greater than 17 false so this is the situation when we are going to get false as the result okay so i hope the or operator is clear to you talking about not operator 
it's a unary operator guys remember that uh, what it means it works on one operand okay so let us see it with the example I have used not operator here so what it is going to do is it will simply reverse whatever we are going to get here okay in the entire uh, this uh, bracket whatever I am going to get in the brackets okay it will simply reverse it so let's solve it 6 less than 5 is false 7 less than 17 is true we have kept the not operator as it is false or true will give us what value true because one of them is true the ultimate value is going to be true and now the not operator will function but how not true means the opposite of true is false so it is that simple okay so this is logical operators uh, guys i hope you have uh, got the concepts uh, clear one important thing we have to discuss okay that is called the priority order among the logical operator this is very very important concept okay uh, this is being discussed here because uh, many times we have situations where we have not operator and operator and oper or operator coming in one single statements and that too without brackets oh, okay so for example observe this statement true or false and not false okay so we don't have brackets anywhere in this portion in this statement so we are not going to um, uh, have we are not going to, to decide the priority order based on the brackets okay so how we are going to solve it by using the priority order and this is their priority order okay so whenever we have a statement like this okay we have to give not operator the highest priority then comes and operator and then comes the or operator okay so just see true or false uh, i have just written it like this here now what operator i am going to evaluate first of all is not so not false not false will become true and i have written the rest as it is as you can see okay now which operator will function and operator so false and true what value we are going to get out of this is false because one of them is false so we have written false here and i have written the rest as it is now comes the or operator true or false is going to be true okay because uh, that's what we saw in case of or operator if one of them is true the ultimate result is going to be true so that's it for logical operators in the upcoming video i will be explaining some other operators uh, which is the increment operator and decrement operator we will also see post increment and pre-increment how they work on uh, uh, different types of values so thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have enjoyed uh, the video do let me know if you have any suggestions in the comment section below so thank you so much again do like and subscribe